What's happening, people? Low here. Diablo. Rebuildable tank atomizer by El Diablo Philippines. Uh, Gilbert Manipon. So, this tank consists of one, two, three, four, five, six parts. It's a uh, rebuildable tank. Uh, I pre-built this already so I don't have to you know make a build and uh, put it in uh, you know to shorten the time so I did that and uh, that's the deck that's the uh, airflow juice channel the post hole is decent uh, right now I have it in uh, I have it here 24 gauge nichrome 90 Omega Tiger wire dual coil uh, six wraps On a 2.8 millimeter guide So that's the bottom Huge airflow both sides of dual coil and uh, this is the uh, AFC and the bottom base. As you can see, that's the, uh, the wall for your uh, airflow control. And it's uh, press fitted with the uh, O-ring. So you press it like that. That's your airflow, okay? You can adjust it by uh, twisting it. I'm not gonna do it right now, I'll do it later. I'll put some juice in here so it's gonna be loose. Tank is a glass. There's your chimney, a Diablo logo, and a Diablo brand. Your top cap, which is uh, threaded as well to the chimney. You'll see it later on when I uh, assemble it. And it's a uh, top fill as well. There is your top part, top cap. El Diablo Philippines. Alright, it comes with a uh, drip tip. Which is O-ring less. But your regular 510 drip tips will fit in here. Okay, so that's that. I will show you the performance and I will show you what build I have in here. It's a 0 0.08 on a rebuildable tank. Okay, like I said, I have here six wraps of uh, Omega wire and 90 Tiger on a 2.8 millimeter guide dual coil so take note 0 0.08 on a rebuildable tank I've uh, been using this build for I don't know two three days I get max six pulls with no dry hit seventh I get a little bit dry but uh, keep in mind it's a tank and uh, it has 0 0.08 ohm build okay so if you build on that on a dripper you're lucky to get at least three or four pulls you know what i mean but uh the juice juice channel is not that big although it wicks very well outside also uh i don't know uh if it's doable that uh el diablo could have made the deck bigger because uh, I've seen a uh, few tanks, are, uh, rebuildable tanks, that the deck is a little bit bigger than this. But this is decent, but you will see what I'm talking about when I wick it. It's very little uh, 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 wick on the both end tails, but 
like I said, I can manage five, six pulls without getting a dry burn on a 0 0.08 build. Okay? So here we go. Let's assemble it and let's wick it and let's vape it. Press fitted AFC. I have it open wide both sides. I'll put it on my own meter. Wait, I have to uh, pulse it. I'm using my Etude prototype since it's a 0.08 ohm. So let's give it a couple of uh, pulsing. There you go. Another one. Okay, let's whip it. Cotton bacon version 2. Other than the uh, build deck, uh, I like it a lot. Because of the, uh, like I said, it can handle 0 0.08 ohm build. Uh, up to five six pulls with no dry heat and I will show you that later after I whip this Mad mad atomizer. I Also give you it. I will also give you a tip on how to wick it how I wick it That way you have an idea Also, I only use uh, cotton bacon, nothing else. Shoot. Jeez, let me tilt the camera so you can see how I wick it. There. Mm, it's pretty loose. Let's double this. Ha, this is how I wick all my atomizers. Uh, I want it uh, a little bit tight, like more than snug tight. Oh crap. So, this is what's left on the uh, end tails of the cotton. See how short it is? Uh, are you vaping Jekyll from Vaporholic? Let me just prime it real good and we will go on to vaping. What I'm doing is kind of uh, pushing the gun in. Make sure I don't block the uh, juice channel. If you have cotton. And there 
there she is. That's how she looks like on the inside. There we go. Also, the fine threads on these uh, atomizer make sure you uh, get a good feel when you thread them together because uh, otherwise you're gonna cross thread it really easy because of the uh, fine 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 threads stop feel oh and also using this for a few been using this for a few days and uh, I haven't really experienced uh, uh, bad leaking I mean there's there's there is a little bit of amount of juice in here but it's not enough to leak but I'm thinking it's a uh, moisture you know from vaping it but like I said no leaking see it should go all the way down but it stops so unscrew it make sure you catch the entry entry thread there so it should be like that all the way down okay Go, let's vape it. Remember, I mentioned earlier, uh, I get like five to six hits, uh, continuous hits with no uh, dry hits. So let's see what happens. Okay. How many pull is that? Four, five? Six or maybe seven. Now I get a dry hit. But like I said, it point it's a 0.08 ohm. So I wouldn't be surprised if I get a dry hit after six or seven pulls. See? You see the bubbles is still wicking. See? But for a tank on a super sub ohm, 0.08 ohm build, you can get five, six, seven pulls is pretty damn good. Okay, so I approve this. I like it. Like I said, been using this for two, three days without any uh, major leaking issue. Like right now, there's none. And it's a top fill. Diablo RTA by El Diablo Philippines, uh, Gilbert Manipon. Take a last very long pull. Still wicking. See the bubbles? Bubbles. Tiny bubbles. There you go. Till next review. Hope you guys like the review of the uh, Diablo Rebuildable Tank Atomizer by El Diablo Philippines, Gilbert Manipon. Salute, brother. Till next time. Peace out.